Hi guys, so today we're gonna be talking about my recent favorites while I get ready for the day. So I'm just wearing a shirt that my dad got me. And it's like one of my favorite shirts that my dad has ever got me and it says, be nice, do nice. It's got like a big thing on the back too. It says like the same thing, but anyways, I was trying to decide if I wanted to blow dry my hair and I don't want to. So I've just been brushing it and trying to get it to dry in a nice way. But we'll see how that kind of goes. And I really need a haircut. And I might do a video on like a globe. Do like a globe video for you guys when I go to get my haircut. And like maybe go like have my cousin do my nails or something. But that feels like a lot of work. And I don't know. And I don't know. Because it's like I'm only getting a haircut. And I have to like find a bunch of things to entertain you guys with the glow up. So I don't know. But anyways, I've compiled a couple of things, a couple of physical things, and then mostly just, like, not physical things, like, different things that I love and that I've been loving recently and stuff. I don't know. But my boyfriend's coming to see me today. Oh, whoa. Okay. He's coming to see me, coming to my little college town. So I thought I would just do a little, like, get ready with me, and we'll talk about all of my recent favorites. So, putting on deodorant first because, you know, deodorant. Um, I don't want to do too much for my makeup. I'll probably just do, like, some blush, some mascara, some Vaseline for my lippy, my lip. I'll do a little bit of, like, a overcoat of some, some of my dandelion blush. Um, and since, like, I'm not putting on, I'm trying not to put on too much, I'll probably put on a little bit of mascara. But probably just, like, one swipe. I don't know. But we'll get there. So, first and foremost, the physical physical items that I've been loving. First of all, some of, mo some of them you've already seen already, so let's just not talk about it, but I'm just obsessed with them. First of all was my Good Chemistry Sugarberry perfume. It I know you guys saw it at my Christmas haul, but it's just so delicious. It just, mm, oh, it just smells so good, and I... I'm not one to like a vanilla e flavor, and that is like this. Like, I don't really like the vanilla scents quite as much. But this one has a really nice mixture of, like, sweet with vanilla. And, like, this, I don't know. It's so perfect. It's just perfect. And you can get it at, like, Walmart or, um, like, a Harmons or something. Because it's, like, not crazy. And I think it's, like, honestly only, like, 30 to 45 bucks or something. But while we're on the topics of perfumes, this one was probably about probably about the same amount cost cost almost the same amount maybe like a 10 buck difference it was like probably like 30 bucks to be honest which i think is stupid but i got it anyway was the glossier you um roller perfume i was gonna get the bigger one but i was like i can't afford that and then my mom ended up buying it for me this one's so easy to put on anyway it's so easy to put on that i just like use it so often and it smells like just so perfect. I don't know. I love it. It's one of my favorites currently. One of my other recent like kind of skincare, not skincare, like makeup favorite right now is this fresh fruit raspberry peach lip oil. I've been loving it. I just feel like it makes my lips like so nice and just precious. I love it. It's so good. Anyways. Another thing that I've been loving, and then I'll do one of my makeup stuffs, is my boyfriend's Switch. I've been playing my boyfriend's Switch all of the freaking time. I keep thinking that he's here, but he's not. He shouldn't be here. Okay. I've been playing my boyfriend's Switch all of the time. I play it, honestly, probably at least every other day. But he left it with me here at college because I play it more often than he does and it's been a fun time. We have the full setup like back there with extra controllers so I've been playing with my friends and it's been nice. And I'll explain like what game I've been playing the most later. Anyways, while we get into, now that I've shown you guys everything, I kind of just like talk to you while I do stuff. But first up on my recent faves list is I want to talk about with YouTubers and I'm going to put up like some, some photos of these people and also i'll put links of things of the so of things down below as well um i'll put some links to stuff so you guys can see it or get it or do whatever okay anyways long story short is youtuber i've got two top two youtubers right now and they are amazing so first of all is outdoor boys okay and i know you might be thinking what tylee outdoor boys 
Is that not like catered to men or something? No. I love it. So pretty much it's just like this guy and he like goes camping out in the Alaska and like he does all this fun stuff. And it's like it's just such a fun time. It's just such a fun time and he like he'll like um make bread or like I don't know he'll just like he'll build a fort he was building one he was building one and like he dug out a shit ton of snow and like slept i don't know go check out the links in the description because that it's so good it's just so entertaining and me and the boyfriend watch it like all the time like when we're eating our meals and stuff it's so good another youtuber i've been watching is samantha joe um i have a hard time hold on i can't talk while i do this Okay, next one. Okay. <laughs> Those look awesome. Okay, anyway, the next one is Samantha Joe. I love her. She's so fun and silly. She's just, like, a good time. She's very lifestyle stuff. Um, Kind of just, like, she, a lot of her videos are just, like, about her day and stuff, which I love, and I love just watching people do life, which is why I love her. Okay, podcasts was really 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 into the Brittany broski podcast i haven't listened in a little bit but in like a week or two but i was really into the Brittany broski podcast i really liked her content it was always just really funny and i was easy to listen to which i really liked and you know everybody knows who Brittany broski is so i know you know what's up this next one is called the moments podcast with lexi something i don't remember her last name but she is awesome. She talks about just, like, the most, like, wholesome stuff. And, she like, I will listen to an episode just on loving yourself. And sometimes they're not even that long of episodes. They're, like, super short, like, 20 minutes. Which is, like, awesome for when you're, like, just doing a small activity or something. Like, cleaning your room or whatnot. I, however, mostly listen to podcasts when I'm driving. And I drive for two hours when I go home. So... I don't know, like, I don't know, but I like it, it's really good, it's really good, um, anyways, moving on, now we're moving on to music, and this first one, I will say, started with Brittany Broski, because, I'm done with my makeup, guys, I'm sorry, anyway, it started with Brittany Broski, she was talking about this band that she loved, and this band was called Sleep Token. Have you heard of Sleep Token? I love Sleep Token. I love Sleep Token. They're so awesome. Anyway, Sleep Token is so awesome. I just love the genre. It's like, I don't even know how to explain the genre, but it's, it's like rock, punk, but it's also like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I love it. It's so good. Go listen to Sleep Token. Next up for music is Hiatus Coyote. I thank my boyfriend for getting me, showing me Hiatus Coyote. They're, it's really fun. I love it. We've got like inside jokes with it. It's a good time. It's kind of different, but I love it and it's great. This one, everybody should know. Everybody should know my number one gal who never leaves my side. Renee Rapp. Do I have to say more? It's Renee Rapp. She is my gal. And she is always on replay. Last but not least, my newest fixation is The Last Dinner Party. And I don't know how to feel about this one because it, no, it's so good. I do know how to feel about it. It's so good. The Nothing Matters, um, oh, what wow, balls? Why am I forgetting the names of the songs? Nothing Matters, Caesar, Caesar on a TV screen, F The Feminist Urge, On Your Side. That, it just is so good, and they're just such a fun, like, girl group. And I'm think I'm loving that, like, girl bands are coming back. Like, that's really slay. I'm just loving it. It's just so good. And I think everybody should go listen to them. And I'm feeling a little bit, con like, I don't know what to do now, because I really want to buy tickets to their concert, because they're coming to my city and I can't decide if I should just like splurge and get them or not because I'm saving up to move out um, back home. I'm saving up to move back home because I didn't want to be broke when I got back from school. 
obviously moving out of my college town because I'm graduating. So I gotta save some money because I don't know what my plan is yet. Anyways, long story short is I can't decide if I should get tickets or not. Yeah. Um. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Games. And this is what's gonna bring us eventually to the Switch. But first and foremost, Wingspan. Wingspan is the best board game ever. It's the best board game ever. And you can play it also as an app on your phone or your laptop. I, we finessed the system a little bit, don't tell them, but um, my boyfriend logged into his Apple ID thingy and he downloaded Wingspan on my, on my iPad because I didn't want to pay for it. And we've been playing long distance Wingspan all the time, but we did get Wings. If you saw my Christmas haul video, we did get the physical Wingspan and it's still fun. It's just such a fun time. It takes so long to play, especially when you have a lot of people. Like when you have like the normal amount of people, like four people, then it takes so long. But when it's just me and him, it goes by pretty quick, especially when you know what you're gonna, your next move is. But it's awesome. I love it. Okay. And then as of recently, as of like a couple weeks ago, I had this really slow moment where whenever I was not doing homework, I was playing Papa's Burgeria. And that was before the Switch got here. And her Papa's Burgeria is great. I love the Papa's games. I only really stuck with the Burgeria, to be honest with you. But then I got introduced to this little game called Overcooked. Overcooked is so good. So good. Me and the boys play it. Me and the bestie play it. Me and bestie Gigi have been hella grinding out this game. And we've been, we struggled the last time we played it. I won't even lie to you. We were kind of not doing great. Kind of struggled. But it's just, it was just so good. It's just so good. It's so fun. I love being, getting a little challenge. I love like the tension almost. And like normally you end up like screaming at the person you're doing it with. Uh, my favorite thing is that me and Gigi and me and the boy like don't really scream at each other. Like actually I have gotten mad a couple of times, but it's usually we just strategize. We strategize and we make it happen and it happens and we're good and we're chilling. It's so, so fun. Anyways, now that I'm done with that, last but not least, hobbies and my current hobby that I will never give up and that I've been going cuckoo bananas with is crochet. I've been crocheting crazy, crazy, just crazy. So I'm going to show you a couple of my projects currently and then we'll finish out this video. Okay, look back here. Okay, so I'm making a blanket for my boyfriend's mother for Christmas. I know Christmas has passed. It. I just. I. Let me explain. So I made this. I showed it to her, but I was like, I hate it, and she does not know this. She. She's unaware of this, and she'll find out either by watching this video, or when I just get farther and I send her a picture and I tell her that I was redoing it. But I'm redoing it with a pattern, so then it has like these little holes in it. I'm doing double crochet, so I'm doing like, doing like a two. Wait, one single. So I, at the bottom I did two two singles, but now I'm doing like a double, a single, a double, a single. And I'm liking the pattern. I think it'll be a bit a little bit lighter, but also I just like the idea of the holes. I feel like that's nice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I put myself through that. Also, like if I held the blanket up, you would see like this big like curve because it's like janky. Like I did it wrong. Okay. Here is another one. And it's just like so hard to show you things because I'm like... Okay, it's so hard to show you things because I'm in the middle of crocheting them and it's like, how do I show you this without it unraveling or anything? But I'm making a skirt out of this and it's a little, I'm like, it's like, see how it's kind of like angled this way almost a little bit? It's because I'm trying to make it bigger so it can fit my fat ass. <sighs> Sorry guys, that was mean. I should not call my fat ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just, it's just like my booty too big for this. So I made it bigger. But I think it's going to be... I'm obviously not done with it, you guys. It's not... It's, like, barely going to cover. Actually, it's, like, as long as my shorts are right now. You can't see it, but... It is as long as my shorts are. But... But if I turned it around, though, and tried to put it on, like, my booty would be out. So I have to do it a little bit longer. But we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Here's another one that I'm working on. I have to go buy a new yarn for it. Because I bought the yarn at Joann's and I can't find it at the Walmart here in my town because they don't have a Joann's here. Which is kind of unfortunate, but I was not surprised to know that they did not have a Joann's here. But anyway, I was making a beanie for my boyf and he picked out the color 
and I was following a pattern in a book that he gave me for Christmas and I just ran out of yarn so I had to get more so now it just looks like this but it's coming together you know it is okay and then I had this yarn that I bought like forever ago and I can't decide if I'm gonna make it it might be a bag is what I'm thinking or a top or a vest or pants but I don't think I'll have enough for pants my bestie Gigi told me to make a bag because it would be easier to get it done quicker because it's like I have all these projects and I just want one to be done so I don't know but that's all I have for you guys today please like and subscribe and let me know if you guys have any videos you guys want to see while I'm still here in college I'm gonna try my best to get some college content for you guys but it is hard to do but I will get some like dance team vlogs coming at the end of February because we're going on some dance team trips like we're going to a whole nother state but I'm gonna go do this little festival thing and we're also doing a college dance competition so that's not competition it's like a convention kind of I don't know but anyways that's all I hope you guys liked it bye